Hello everybody, it's Whiskey11 and welcome back to the Gaming Lounge. In this video, we are going to talk about the Tier 2 US Destroyer, Samson. That's right, we're continuing on our How to Play series after that snafu of me completely missing last week's video. Let's not talk about that, let's talk about Samson. Actually, before we get into dealing with Samson, we're going to talk a little bit about how the rest of this series is going to go. Uh, in the past, I've done history videos at the be you know, added history to the first part of these videos. Um, we're no longer going to do that to kind of shorten up some of these videos and focus them more on the ships in the game themselves. Uh, a number of people have complained about that, but I'm not giving up on the history sections of these ships entirely. I plan on separating them out into their own videos at some point in the future. Thankfully, the U.S. Destroyer history videos, if you'd like to see them, check out the original U.S. Destroyer How to Play series. Uh, you can watch the first part with the history there. Okay. So let's talk about Samson. We're going to kind of shoot through these pretty quickly. Uh, Stats-wise, Samson has a 9,100 hit points. Her main battery consists of four four-inch guns. They 8.6 kilometer firing range. Uh, reload speed, seven seconds. 180 degree turn time of 15.7, which isn't terrible, but isn't great either. And uh, 1,500 shell damage for HE and 1,700 for AP. That's if you get Citadel hits. Uh, overall, uh, not... <laughs> it's a Tier 2. We'll just go with that. Torpedo 2. She has a 4 dual 457 millimeter. I believe that's 21 inches. Uh, torpedo tubes. They have a 5 kilometer range, 54 knot speed, and they do 6,033 damage. What's interesting about Samson and some of the other lower tier um, destroyers for the U.S. is the torpedo configuration. She has two torpedo tube sets on each side, so she can put four torpedoes out on the left side and four torpedoes out on the right side, or port and starboard for those who are triggered by saying left and right on a boat, on a ship, whatever. You know what I mean. Okay, uh, AA guns. <laughs> Not that you'll ever see an aircraft carrier in this thing unless you, for some reason, choose to tier yourself with a level uh, tier 3. But, anywho, uh, you have two 37mm Maxim machine guns. One in the front and one in the back. Yeah, you're not going to be shooting down anything with that. 11 continuous damage. 2.5 kilometer firing range. Max speed, 31 knots. And a 520 meter turning circle radius, 2.7 second rudder shift time. So fairly maneuverable, fairly quick. Especially at these lower tiers, 31 knots is pretty reasonable. Detection range by sea, this is without camo, and I've chosen to do that on purpose. Um, is 5.9 kilometers. You can see here we have a three-point captain. Um, 5.9 kilometers is not great. As you can tell, it is longer than your torpedo range, which means stealth torpedoing requires a little bit more extra skill. Uh, detection range by air of 2.4 kilometers. In terms of upgrades, um, for destroyers, there's really only two. <clears throat> that I would recommend ever. Main Armaments Mod 1 for the risk of your main battery and torpedo tubes uh, being incapacitated, that reduction of 20%, increasing their hit point pool by 50%, and decreasing the time it takes to repair them by 20%. The other option is if you don't have detonation flags, you can take Magazine Mod 1 to reduce the chance of a magazine detonation by 70%. That's that one hit, kill, you died instantly, <laughs> surprise, uh, it's only a reduction of 70% if you take it that way, if you don't have the flags. In terms of special abilities, we do have U.S. Destroyer Smoke and Speed Boost. And, well, overall, uh, you know, the play style of Samson, it's a fairly, I think it's a fairly mediocre ship. There's just not a whole lot of battleships at this, be, uh, this tier to really make her play style <laughs> or U.S. Destroyer playstyle in general, work out terribly well. Uh, her guns don't hit hard enough or reload fast enough to get into what I consider to be the traditional U.S. playstyle. We won't see that until the Tier 5 Nicholas. So, at these lower tiers, the best thing I can recommend you do is just kind of slog through it. But, 
In general, U.S. destroyers as a whole, they're fairly straightforward ships to understand. So let's kick over to some battle videos for uh, mostly just for eye candy while we talk about how U.S. destroyers play as a whole. All right, so U.S. destroyers have kind of a unique play style. They kind of mirror the way that the German destroyers play in that basically they are straight middle of the road. Torpedoes, fairly average. Uh, in fact, you don't really get the ability to stealth torp until Benson um, without using some more advanced skills, which hopefully we'll talk about in some of the upcoming videos. But uh, they... The gunplay tends to be the stronger suit in the U.S. destroyers, especially once you get to Nicholas and you get the 5-inch 38 caliber guns. Gun rate of fire goes way up, turret traverse goes way up, and the ability to just uh, absolutely shrek face of destroyers at point-blank range and other lightly uh, skinned vehicles at, uh, you know, your BR your battle, battle rating. Wow, at your tier... Uh, you can just absolutely shrek their face in at that point in time with those 5-inch 38s. Up until that point, uh, we're stuck with 4-inch guns until we get to Nicholas, where we see our first 5-inch guns. And the five in the first set of 5-inch guns on Nicholas are some of the older, slower reloading 5-inch guns. And then we get the 5-inch 38s that are a lot more fun. In general, U.S. destroyers tend to be extremely mobile. Uh, they, they are pretty fast. They're not the fastest destroyers in the game by any stretch of the imagination, but on average, speed is pretty good. Concealment, also pretty good. Some of the stealthiest destroyers in the game. Again, not the stealthiest, but fairly stealthy. Uh, they also have fairly strong anti-aircraft fire. In fact, at the higher tiers, you can actually get defensive fire for AA, uh, which uh, does increase your any aircraft uh, gun DPS, which does help out with the, um, you know, does help with that taking down aircraft. It also causes some mild panic, or at least it used to. <laughs> Hashtag carrier rework. Anywho, uh, so you do get pretty decent any aircraft gunfire, and you do also get access to, uh, you know, that consumable later on in the game. The other thing that uh, U.S. destroyers are, sit, tend to be pretty good at is, uh, you know, hunting down other enemy destroyers. It's a combination of good stealth, usable torpedoes with decent speeds, decent damage, decent concealment, and then high rate of fire guns with fast turret traverse. Uh, unlike the Germans, they tend to focus primarily on HE damage, whereas the Germans are almost entirely AP damage with absolutely terrible HE damage. And the torpedoes tend to hit harder, but they also have a slower reload time. So that's where I get this idea where they're kind of the opposite, but the same as the uh, as the German destroyers. They're very much similar in how they operate and play. With regards to using torpedoes, uh, especially at the lower tiers, until we can get the official ability to stealth torp at way, way, way later than it probably should... Um, you know, you're going to have to use islands to ambush. You're going to have to use your smoke to lure people close into your ship to get torpedoes out. You're going to have to wait for them. You know, if you've got spotting on them and they're behind an island, you're going to have to ambush them using that methodology. Um, in general, those are the, the tactics that you use to employ the torpedoes on the lower tier U.S. destroyers. As you get into the higher tiers and you get the ability to stealth torp, Things get a little bit more crazy because now you have the ability to do a lot more damage without, uh, you know, without risking yourself due to vision. But carriers are also significantly more prescient. Thankfully, any aircraft gunfire also scales reasonably well with regards to, uh, <laughs> you know, your tier. So with that all in mind, uh, how you play these ships, especially at the lower tiers, um, you can be a bit of a bully around the caps. Um, once you get into the mid tiers, you are the bully at the caps. And once you get into the high tiers, while you have to play a little bit more cautiously, there are a few destroyers that are better at capping 
than U.S. destroyers. And I would argue that um, if played correctly to their strengths, there isn't a more strong destroyer line for capping or destroyer hunting out there. Uh, there are some nations that have more tools, but uh, at the end of the day, it's all pretty much uh, in a close-in gunfight. You just out DPS a lot of ships, and you have great torpedoes at the high tiers to back that up as well. By the time you get to Fletcher, uh, the U.S. destroyers are some of the best destroyers in the game. We have a lot of high tier premiums at that point, and it's just in general, it's just such a fun line to play, which is why I've, I've continued to have them. Uh, some of, you know, some of my only. Oop, there's a kill. Some of my uh, only. Um, Premium camos, the, the you know, appropriate tier, appropriate camos, uh, are on the U.S. Destroyer line that are on non-premiums. So that's always fun. That's always cool. Um, the other thing, too, about U.S. Destroyer AP is it is no slouch. Uh, it's just not, uh, especially not at these lower tiers. We're talking about 4-inch guns. Gun layout is kind of interesting. Um, torpedo layout is fun. But uh, realistically, it's never usually a good idea to go chasing after cruisers like I am here. Um, but as you can see, when, when we do this, it's all about having the, uh, it's all about having your finger on the maneuver switch. So you see, as I get closer and closer, it's harder and harder for me to actually get, uh, Ooh, wow, this ought to be fun. <laughs> it's harder and harder for me to get closer. Oop. And there's the victory. But uh, we'll, we'll talk more about specific tactics with some of these other ones. Samson is such a low-tier ship that it's so easy to burn through her. It's really not worth, uh, you know, talking too much about uh, about how that goes. But 18,000 damage in a tier 2. <laughs> Still only ended up in the middle of the team. But um, anyway, we, uh, we'll get on with our videos here with Wix next week, hopefully. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm Whiskey11 signing us out of the Gaming Lounge. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.